Well, failure to launch an embarrassing moment for North Korea after their rocket breaks into pieces shortly after take after takeoff, not even making making it outside of the Earth's atmosphere. And now a lot of fear mongering is underway. Of course, the nuclear armed nation claims it's simply trying to put a weather satellite into orbit. But today, the experts have already warned that the same type of rocket could one day carry a nuclear warhead to the United States. That this is a test of a rocket that can carry potentially even a nuclear weapon. Trying out technology which could ultimately deliver a warhead to America's western doorstep. But the bigger picture in all this, John, is what happens next, because in the past, the North Koreans have followed up these kind of rocket launches with nuclear tests. Meanwhile, the White House has condemned North Korea for violating international law, calling it a, a provocative action. And now Washington says it will stop giving food aid to the country. The move violates U.N. Security Council resolutions aimed at blocking the country from developing nuclear weapons. The council holding a meeting today to figure out what to do about all of this. But with all the hype surrounding the country launching the rocket, is it being blown out of proportion? Well, we here at RT want to take the time to ask questions that aren't really being brought up in the aftermath of the failed launch. Jason, Jason Adam Tonis is the chairman of the North American Du Shangan Ideas Group, and he joins me now for more. Um, welcome there, Jason. Um, so a lot of hype, uh, nonstop coverage about this rocket, but is it possible that the fears are exaggerated? Of course they are. I mean, this was just a satellite launch, something that the U.S. government does all the time, Europeans do, Russians do, Chinese, Japanese. So why is it every other country can do this but not the DPRK? Um, and why not? Um, I mean, for example, several other countries have launched similar rockets, and no one really cares. Why is it portrayed as the end of the world when North Korea launches one? Exactly. It's all because... The, the United States government and the, the other countries that are under the financial dominance of the USA fear the DPRK because it is a Juche socialist state whose very systemic existence is seen by the American authorities as a threat to their economic system. Um, so we, any, any progress it makes. And Adam, we can any also... Progress, uh, go ahead. I apologize. Any, any, any progress Korea makes is seen as threatening to, to the American re regime because ultimately the American regime fears that if more American people find out about the DPRK's progress, they'll want the same system the DPRK has to be implemented in this country. And Jason, can we also look at this as North Korea trying to gain respect for them launching a rocket uh, gives them a sense of, of national pride. Well, of course, having a satellite program gives any country national pride, but I don't think Korea really needs any more respect from the rest of the world. The fact that a country doesn't need to be treated good by the rest of the world to gain legitimacy, the only thing it needs to gain legitimacy is the respect of its own people. Um, but don't you think that they would want respect, at least, um, you know, as a show that, hey, um, all these other countries can have these rockets. Why can't we? Of course they do, of course. And so, Jason, um, w would you say then it should be their national right to have a weather satellite like so many other states do? Um, the United States has hundreds of satellites, so um, in the way, can it kind of be a double standard? Exactly, exactly there is a double standard. Every country has the right to do what it needs to do to improve itself. You know, the DPR, why, shouldn't, why should the DPRK be treated any differently from any other country? Okay, um, Jason, uh, another thing, uh, the, the backlash of this is now the U.S. Has, has declared that they are going to stop giving food aid to North Korea, and, the, and this is food that feeds a lot of hungry people. And so um, do you think then that is it a wise decision to politicize this um, when the consequences um, will lead to, uh, or in other words, politicize something 
um, that will, in the end, take food aid away over, over a weather satellite? Well, there's two things to, to consider. Number one, the whole food situation in, in the DPRK is overhyped. There is no famine in the, in the DPRK. People have enough to eat. While, of course, they would like to have more food aid. You don't, sorry, you don't think that there is, not going to you don't think that there is any famine there. Is that what you just said? No, there is no famine in North Korea, no. There is not. Uh, People have enough to eat. Jason, how, how, do, you, how do you know that? Well, I, I'm in communication with people in the DPRK every day, and they inform me as to the, the actual realities of life in the country. That I speak to people there all the time, and they tell me that everyone has enough to eat. It's, it's, you speak it's obvious. I mean, go there yourself. Uh, to go to North Korea, I, I think it's pretty difficult to go to North Korea, um, especially as a journalist. It's very difficult to report on what's going on there. Well. I imagine there are difficulties due to the fact that the government is uh, afraid of spies infiltrating the country, but if you were to honestly go there and report the situation, you would see that people there have a very high standard of living there. Um, Jason, the thing, I, 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 there's definitely a lot of secrecy surrounding what goes on there, and I think a, a lot of the problem is that uh, no one really knows what's going on inside the borders of North Korea. But still, but still, going back to the, what, what, you, what you asked me before about whether or not it was worth it to launch the satellite, the, pro, the way the DPRK thinks is that having a national independent state is the highest goal of all. If a country is not independent, what good, what good is the country even existing then? So yes, the DPRK had to launch the satellite, if only to show to the world that no one can tell it what to do. All right, uh, Jason, very, very different point of view from what we traditionally hear. Um, thank you very much for joining us. That was Jason Adam Tonis, chairman for the North American Jewish Shangen Ideas Study Group.